Uganda was one of the first countries in the sub-Saharan Africa to experience the devastating impact of HIV and AIDS. Although government and other partners have taken drastic measures to control the HIV and AIDS epidemic, which was allegedly first sighted in the country in 1982 along the shores of Lake Victoria, there are still existing gaps in the care for orphans and mitigating the negative impact of the pandemic on the young people. HIV and AIDS has indiscriminately affected both rural and urban dwellers, adults, children and cuts across regions and occupational groups in the country, although with varying magnitudes. It is estimated that in Uganda there are 940,000 young people often due to HIV and AIDS which constitutes 51% of all orphans in the country under the age of 14 years. This number is more if we considered all orphans below 18 years of age. <laughs> Without an operational strategic national intervention and escalating poverty caused by HIV and AIDS and other factors coupled with the breakdown of African society systems which used to cater for orphans, orphan care remains one of the greatest burden of HIV and AIDS epidemic in Uganda. Basing on this background, the association Francos Exelvia Bagnod AFXB Uganda initiated a program to mitigate the impact of HIV and AIDS on the young people and the communities affected by the surge. The Orphans and Vulnerable Children Multi Intervention Strategy Program is implemented in seven sub counties in the two districts of Luero and Nakaseke. The census of 1991. If I just go a bit ahead, we find that uh, Luero and Nakaseke had the highest number of orphans, those are children below 18 years. It was estimated that 14% of all the children in the area were orphans. With the onset of AIDS and then the effects of the gorilla warfare, the community was in total destruction. So FXB decided to start a program in that area because there were a few other NGOs supporting government efforts, complementing government efforts to support the people. At that time, the notable NGOs working in that area was AMREF. So FXB decided to join the efforts of AMREF to provide welfare support to the communities that were ravaged by the war and then the ongoing AIDS. For over 10 years, we are still working in that area because of one thing, AIDS still remains one of the biggest problems that's actually ravaging that area. Uh, right now we are dealing with AIDS orphans. We cannot actually talk of war orphans because when the war ended in 1986, majority of those whose parents actually died of, uh, during the war are now adults. They are now taking over care of their, either their grandpa or their siblings. The program offers support services in the areas of education, HIV AIDS and STD prevention among the young people and the communities plus skills development to the young people. These are integrated with household income generation, medical care and nutritional support. In areas where we work, you find that majority of the people are needed but you not screen them and have a number that you can support because we do not have uh, massive resources that can cover or the need in the area. We use uh, the community structures available, the local councils. We use the local institutions like uh, the, the 
leaders representing the kingdoms. For example, in Uganda, we have the heads of uh, clans and families. We have the volunteers themselves. Because before a program starts, we cut out you know, education, sensitization, and awareness in that community about our program and what we are intending to do with the people. On top of establishing youth centers at sub-county levels where the young people regularly meet to share the common challenges in life with a special focus on how they can support one another to guard against HIV and AIDS, AFXB has established a multi-skill training center where the young people are trained in various vocational skills like tailoring, motor vehicle mechanics, carpentry, hairdressing, and home economics. Learners spend two years at the center after which they are given startup kits and packages to help them establish their own businesses in their communities. We talk to these orphans, find out what they feel they can do better, and after assessing their capabilities, um, we help them actually to identify the best choices, and then we place them in the relevant institutions to study. Um, after they have studied, we help them to to get or we procure for them toolkits for their self-employment. Nashtend Helen is 18 years old. An orphan from Makurubita sub-county, she got a startup kit when she completed a hairdressing course at the center. When she received the package, she opened up a saloon and now she supports herself and other siblings. She has trained her peers in the village in hairdressing and utilizes this opportunity to talk to the young people who come to her saloon about HIV and AIDS. Regina Kabida, now a tailor in Semuyugu village in Makurubita, is a single mother. Immediately after the training at AFXB multi-skill training center, she placed the sewing machine given to her by AFXB in the trading center. She is proud that she can cater for all her requirements without depending on anybody. John Sewaguma of Chamoya village is 19 years. He stays with his mother, he set up a carpentry workshop after the training and does not regret. He is overwhelmed with the orders he receives from the community since he is the only qualified carpenter in the vicinity. His mother is proud of her son because of the financial support to the family and moral guidance he gives to the young people in the village. Other graduates of the center have got employment following the skills acquired. The mechanics have been taken on by motor vehicle garages in big towns where they earn enough money to support themselves and the people at home. Association Francos Exelvia Bagnon has also facilitated the young people to formulate peer-to-peer -peer groups through which they sensitize one another and local communities on various challenges, especially HIV and AIDS. 
Through the groups, the young people engage in income generating activities like farming, environmental conservation, sanitation, and hygiene campaigns, plus any other activities of benefit to their communities. The young people have adapted music, dance, and drama as an effective mode to communicate vital messages to their peers and the communities. FXCB, a itam quagata, Catori Mukuru, net so message, Jimisomo, where to tend the carnet to Kukukana to Dayake, net so messavo, Gatuita Mukuimba, our monopuzania, to a game to that democracy. FXCB, Musajawa Mani, FXCB. The young people have formulated drama groups which produce and compose plays and songs on topical issues in society and perform it to the public. <laughs> We work with other organizations that would need to share with us this kind of experience. We do not claim to be the master of the best uh, intervention. However, we believe that through, uh, through sharing information with other agencies, we improve our, our practices to make them best and to make them appropriate. This almost comprehensive approach to meeting the welfare of these destitute families is, is, is uh, what we are looking forward to. If at the time we, 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 we discuss our experiences with other partners, we find better ways of actually improving the approach. So we want uh, to extend our services to as many destitute uh, families as possible, not only in the central region, but also in other regions. This is just a drop in the ocean. The challenges of mitigating the impact of HIV AIDS among the young people is enormous. The young people need your support.